Happy Independence Day. Happy 4th of July. Thank you for joining us for this video to celebrate the 245th anniversary of the signing of the U.S. Declaration of Independence. Our theme for celebration this year is the United States, a sustainable partner for a sustainable future. Unfortunately, due to the circumstances related to COVID and our global pandemic, we're unable to come together in person this year. But I hope you enjoy this video presentation. One of the things that COVID really brought to light for me was the myriad of challenges that we face as a humanity. Those things that transcend borders, that ignore those lines on a map, and that we need to come together to face. One of the biggest of those challenges is that of climate change. I also recognize that as we come out of COVID, we need to have economic solutions to help our countries move forward. So right now, I'm very focused on reinforcing the importance of finding a balance between economic growth and environmental stewardship. As many of you know, on his very first day in office, President Biden signed an executive order bringing us back as members of the Paris Climate Agreement. The United States is now focused on decreasing the ravages of climate change by encouraging sustainable business practices, particularly in the green tech sector. Here in Malta, we also support efforts to green Malta's economy. We work with the government and private sector alike to find innovative opportunities to achieve shared goals and objectives. Some of the areas that we work in are emerging energy technologies. We also look to find intelligent solutions to reduce dependency on fossil fuels and lower greenhouse emissions. We also work to support Malta's renewable energy strategy to create jobs. This includes areas of research and development, solar and wind farm technologies, and waste to energy installations. One of the areas I'm really excited about our partnership is that in education. We really work with the Maltese education ministry and schools to support sustainable goals. One of the funnest initiatives that we have is an initiative where we encourage students to participate in curriculum around science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, especially girl students. We also have the Global Learning and Observation to Benefit the Environment Program, or GLOBE. This cool program uses Maltese students to observe and chart data about the environment and its change. This data then goes into a global database that's used to look to see how everything around the world is changing and diversifying with different effects. We brought a NASA scientist and astronaut here to talk to Maltese students about how their data collection through the GLOBE program contributed to, contributed to the work being done on space travel. And finally, Maltese and Gozatan students were recognized as the top contributors of quality scientific data and analysis through the GLOBE program. Well done to these pioneering students who are really getting out there and doing the work on the ground. Finally, I'm particularly proud of this very building here, our embassy. This building is LEED Silver certified. It's a green building, and we're using a number of sustainable environmental programs to ensure that we are having the lowest footprint possible for our facilities here in Malta. We have sustainable site development, including an archeological park that celebrates some Bronze Age artifacts that were discovered during construction. We have a water conservation program. It goes on uh, to help us 
bring water into the building, but also we use a low impact grass for our lawn that requires less water for watering to keep it green and lush throughout the summer months. We use energy production here through our solar and wind power. We produce enough energy here at the embassy to power our own facilities, so much that sometimes we even put that energy back into the Maltese power grid. And we have energy savings through material selection and env environmental quality control. For example, our light bulbs in the embassy are all LED. That uses less energy. We have electric cars within our car fleet that cuts down on our carbon emissions. And we even have our own beehive. That beehive not only produces honey, but it also helps pollinate, pollinate nearby crops and flowers for local farmers and agriculture. It's a pretty cool facility when, it, when you get down to it. Climate change is one of the greatest challenges of the 21st century. And we need to face this together with urgency and commitment. Our governments need to foster local economies that are viable, innovative, and embrace technologies that encourage sustainability. We need to do this together. And the United States is committed to partner with Malta to work towards a better future for all of us. Happy 4th of July. Hello and merhaba u auguri fidin il festa tal independenza tal Stati Uniti tal America. Or as we would say here in the States, happy 4th. I'm U.S. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg. I want to thank Chargé d'Affaires Green for inviting me to join you virtually for this celebration, as well as President Vella and Minister Bartolo, a longtime friend of my late father. The 4th of July commemorates the founding of a nation of immigrants, including people like my father, who came here from Malta to continue his education, but always maintained his ties to the island, to the Maltese people, and to our family there and many more who came seeking opportunities for themselves and their families. I'm very proud of my Maltese heritage and grateful for the strong relationship between our two countries. We are committed to strengthening this important relationship as we continue to work closely together on so many important issues, including in the fight against climate change. As Secretary of Transportation, a key part of my work centers on advancing clean and sustainable transportation infrastructure. And I'm glad that our two countries are collaborating to make Malta's economy greener and stronger than ever. Through innovative exchange programs, we are pioneering intelligent solutions to reduce Malta's dependence on fossil fuels, promote clean energy alternatives, dramatically lower greenhouse gas emissions, and maximize the use of indigenous resources. Malta may be a small nation in terms of size, but its contributions to the prosperity and security of the region are very significant. On this 4th of July, I want to thank all those at the U.S. Embassy for your work to strengthen our bilateral relations and to represent the United States. To my Maltese and Gazetan friends, I very much hope I'll have the chance to return to Malta soon. Thank you, grazie, and once again, happy 4th of July. On this most special day for the USA, the best way to celebrate the best values of democracy is in the spirit of humility showed by President Joe Biden after the attack on Capitol Hill last January. He said, today's a reminder, a painful one, that democracy is fragile and to preserve it requires people of goodwill, leaders with the courage to stand up, who are devoted not to the pursuit of power and personal interests at any cost, but to the common good. President Biden repeated the same message a fortnight later in his inaugural address when he said again that democracy is fragile and requires constant work and maintenance to keep it alive. Referring to the depolarization within American society, he said, I know the forces that divide us are deep and they are real, but I also know they are not new. 
Our history has been a constant struggle between the American ideal that we are all created equal and the harsh, ugly reality that racism, nativism, fear, demonization have long torn us apart. The battle is perennial and victory is never assured. The latest report of Freedom House says that democracy is on the retreat in the world. Only 20% of the planet's population is living in freedom and democracy. Are aggressive ideological crusades and sanctions the best way to engage with the other 80% and promote democracy? I believe also, like President Biden, that human rights and democracies are fragile. I would add, not only in the United States, but all around the world. We should humbly address our own shortcomings at home before self-righteously lecturing the rest of the world. We will be more credible if we are honest and humble enough to admit that the principal threats to democratic values come not from autocratic systems, but from inside our own societies. The healing of democracy starts at home. May you have a happy 4th of July, remembering the sacrifices of all those who have worked and those who work constantly in the never-ending process to nurture and maintain democracy. Today, we celebrate the 245th anniversary of the attainment of independence of the United States of America. The Republic of Malta and the United States established formal diplomatic relations almost 57 years ago. However, our relationship dates back to the very same event we are celebrating today, when Malta was still under the control of the Knights of St. John. In the post-World War II period, thousands of Maltese settled in the United States of America, forming our third largest diaspora. They were searching for a better quality of life. In retrospect, I can say they also contributed in no small measure to the success of your country. For many years, the United States has symbolized hope and freedom. These beliefs need to be transcended in various multilateral fora, which we need to strengthen even more in the light of global developments. We all have an obligation to build a culture of peace and spread optimism. Besides, the recent pandemic has made us realize the importance of environmental and health protection. In this regard, we are challenged to ensure equal access to anti-COVID-19 vaccines to everyone around the globe. We need to provide tangible proposals for limiting climate change and work for world peace, if we sincerely hope for a better future. Other global challenges also need a joint global response. These include accelerating the implementation of measures to achieve the Sustainable Development Goals for 2030. And besides, the ecological threats we also have to address an ever-increasing humanitarian crisis and ensure democracy through multilateral structures. With the United States of America, we share the same concerns and commitment to ensure our security by being militant against terrorism, contraband, money laundering, human trafficking, and all forms of extremism. We are determined to continue contributing to diplomatic means in all international fora and in our bilateral relations by promoting peace, prosperity, democracy, and rule of law. With these thoughts, I want to say my best wishes to the President of the United States of America, to the people of the United States of America, and to the American people here in Malta, wishing everyone a safe and joyful celebration of the 245th anniversary of independence.